Okay guys, so this is not my poem. It is Rudy Francisco's. I don't know if you are familiar with him, but he is extremely good. So I'm going to read one of his poems that I tried to memorize, and if I mess up, I have the paper down here. So, and the reason I'm reading this is because it really touched me and it really raised my standard my standards for what I'm going to look for in a person because I want someone to feel that way about me. And I just, I really love this poem a lot, so... Here we go. To the girl who works at Starbucks down the street from my house on Delmont Heights Road, I swear to gosh I'm not a stalker. When I ordered a chai latte, what I meant to say was, hey, I was walking past, I saw you in the window, I came in here because I had to know what your voice sounded like. But instead of saying that, I got really nervous and ordered the first thing on the menu, I don't even know what chai is. Or a latte, for that matter. I imagine that when God made you... He cussed for the first time. I bet he turned to an angel, gave him a high five, and said, Gosh damn, I'm good. You heard that beautiful. I spent the last three days trying to figure out how I'm going to introduce myself to you properly, and I think I finally figured it out. It's going to go something like, Hi. That's all I got so far, but I think it's a good start. I gotta be honest, it's not often that I find myself eager to write about love. In fact, every time I try to write about love, my hands cramp just to show me how painful love can be. And sometimes my pencils break just to prove to me every now and then love takes a little more work than planned. I heard that love is blind, so I write all my poems in braille. And my poems, my poems are never actually finished because true love is endless. I kind of, I believe that real love is kind of like a supermodel before she's airbrushed. It's pure and imperfect, just like how God intended. I gotta be honest, I'm not much of a love poet. But if I was to wake up tomorrow morning and decide that I really was gonna write about love, my first poem, would be about you, about how I love you the same way I learned how to ride a bike, scared but reckless with, with, reckless, with no training wheels or elbow pads so my scars can tell the story of how I fell for you. I gotta be honest, I'm not much of a love poet, but if I was, I'd write about how I see your face and every cloud in your reflection and every window. You see, I've written millions of poems hoping that somehow, maybe some way, you'll jump out of the pages and be closer to me because if you were here right now, I'd massage your back till your skin sings songs that your lips don't even know the words to. Until your heartbeat sounds like my last name, and you smile like the Pacific Ocean, I want to drink the sunlight in your skin. If I was a love poet, I'd write about how you have the audacity to be beautiful on days where everything around you is ugly. If I was a love poet, I'd write about how your eyelashes are like violin strings and, they play, and how they play symphonies every time you blink. I'd write about how I melt in front of you like an ice sculpture every time I hear the vibrations of your voice. And when I see your name on the caller ID, my heart plays hopscotch inside of my chest. It climbs onto my ribs like monkey bars and I feel like a child all over again. And I know it's going to sound weird, but sometimes I pray that God somehow turns you back into one of my ribs just so I can never have to, so I never have to spend an entire day without you. I'm not usually a love poet, but if I was to wake up tomorrow morning and decide that I really was going to write about love, my first poem would be about you. After all that, she was like, but how do you feel about me? And I said, well, put it this way. I want to be your ex-boyfriend stuntman. I want to do everything. I want to do everything he never had the courage to do, like trust you. I swear that when our lips touch, I can taste the next 60 years of our life. You see, last night I had a dream, and this particular dream, I died in my dreams. I walked not knowing I was still sleeping, decided to walk. You see, I walked in my sleep, I slept in my walk, I walked backwards until I saw you for the first time, and I could barely muster the, the courage to introduce myself to you all over again. You see, I've been trying to find the right words, been trying to find the right steps to what seems to me like thousands of years. You see, something oh, something always seems to go wrong between us. We lived in Egypt. I was a pharaoh's slave. You were his daughter. Loving you led to my death. After they took my life, I was resurrected as a mason. I laid the foundation for your house. We met eyes for two seconds. After that, I didn't see you again until I died. I came back as a butterfly. I turned into... I came back as a caterpillar, I turned into a butterfly, I landed in the palm of your hand, you brushed me away, the rejection killed me, when I woke up was a kick drum, you were a snare, we were both owned by this drummer named Cozy Cole, and when he died, so did we, but I came back just to look for you. I left notes in random places, hoping you would stumble across them, I carved our names into trees, hoping it would jog, and I prayed it would jog your memory, I whispered your name in the wind, hoping that somehow, maybe some way, my voice would reach you, but it didn't. I died young, I died early with breadcrumbs in my hands, hoping that you would find me again, but you didn't. See, 
but you did but you never did so they buried me when they buried me they put these coins over my eyes and I used them as bus fare to get back to earth just so I could look for you again you see that's why that's why every time when we hold hands I hold on a little tight too tight I just don't want to lose you again you see my mother always told me when you find the perfect woman you got to do whatever it takes to make sure she stays next to you thank you so that was Rudy Francisco's poem. I did mess up a lot and I stumbled around, but you know what? That's okay. And I highly recommend checking his video out because it is his poem and not mine. And he's extremely good and I love his voice. And he just, he has a real vo voice and emotion for poetry. And I, I love his poems. I have listened to every single one. And this one is my favorite. So definitely go check him out and I will put the link below. Thank you.